guys. I'll give you a little uh, view of the gym here. Um, I don't want to get anybody into it. Um, you know, I'm being discreetful. And if, you know, if they tell me I can't, you know, video, I, I don't know. I don't see a sign, but I'm just talking. Um, so I'll just focus on my, uh, some of my gym stuff here. I don't want to, um, I got these little sneakers at Walmart, aren't they cute? Um, I'm going to need better ones. My running is getting better. But what do I want to press upon you also is this lack of support here. Um, I have not had one of these women come out in support of me. Um, and that was really, really difficult and terrifying. Um, you know, you find out your marriage was a lie, you've been assaulted, you've been beat up, you've been robbed. Um, you know, I could go on and on. My car was taken, I'm walking the streets. I mean, if any one of these women, would have, that would have happened to them, I would have been right there saying, are you okay? I mean, I actually was helping my sister trying to get an apartment before she, my half-sister before I found out she was involved. Um, I had uh, m many offers to my mother when she was moving to, to come and stay up to my lake house. Um, I repeatedly asked people to come and visit. Um, they would pick fights, like I said. So there are no support services here, which are very important. I had to go online. My anonymity had already been broken. Um, they paid no consideration for that. Judges made no consideration for my age, uh, the fact that my career was, uh, they had taken my portfolios. I didn't have a car, housing. So it was all deliberate to get you on the street. Once you're on the street, can you know, I had women at the jail tell me, well, that's how it goes. You're, you know, you're a prostitute now. So I don't want to focus on my sneakers too much, but you want to stare at my sneakers. But um, so we really need to support women in these situations because um, it's it's very difficult. Well, most women aren't going to talk about it. Um, it's been extremely frightening for me. It's terrifying. Uh, most mornings I do wake up and I cry, but I think about the children. I think about other women in the situation. Situation. I think about how, you know what, they didn't protect my anonymity and being silent all these years didn't protect me. Um, I was just, I, I, it was more and more draining because the more I respected these people, the worse they got. Um, you know, you know, you want to talk about the stages of homicide. Um, this is what we have with domestic violence. It gets worse and worse. It doesn't get better. Be safe, guys.